Hello, my name is Nils Fuglsang. I am a member of the European Parliament from the Socialist and Democrats group. I'm from Denmark and I'm a member of the ITRA committee. That is the Committee for Industry, Research and Energy. And I am delighted to contribute to the HART project with this video. Um, I am the rapporteur, the lead negotiator of the Energy Efficiency Directive which has a lot to do with uh, renovating buildings to make them more energy efficient. We are right now in a process where we are negotiating um, and trying to agree on the new uh, law for energy efficiency. And I believe we need high targets uh, and binding targets. Um, what we, I think, can agree on is that we need a principle that, that is called the energy efficiency first principle. That principle, that principle is about that every time we look at whether we need a new energy project, new uh, energy um, production, we need to make the analysis to make sure that um, do we actually need this new energy or can we achieve the target by saving our energy so that we use our energy more efficient. And I think we should make that analysis and I intend to um, make that a legally binding requirement and I hope my colleagues here in the European Parliament will agree with me that it should be a requirement that every time you make such an energy project you actually make the analysis of how you can increase energy efficiency for example by renovating uh, buildings to make sure that they are uh, not using too much energy and that they are keeping um, the heat uh, so that we don't heat for for the birds outside. Um, in the Energy Efficiency Directive there is also a requirement uh, in the current proposal, and I support that as well, um, that we should renovate 3% of, a, of the, public the public building mass each year. 3% of uh, all public buildings should be renovated um, and they should be deeply renovated to make sure that they are nearly zero emission buildings so that we actually don't have to use so much energy on heating them because they hold the heat very effectively. Um, I propose that we actually expand this requirement so that it also covers uh, social housing. We know that um, the people who live in social housing, they are often energy poor people. That means that they are struggling to pay their energy bills, especially in a time like this with uh, rising energy prices. They are the ones who need um, energy efficient buildings the most because they don't have so much money. So uh, if we can do something here, if we can prioritize the re renovation of buildings towards social housing and the energy poor, I think it would be good for the climate and it would be socially just. And actually right now I think we uh, have a number of crises in our society facing us. Uh, the climate crisis obviously we've known about it for many years and we need to hurry up to, to tackle it. Uh, but also we have a crisis of rising energy prices and then we of course have a crisis of uh, supply when we look at Russia and the war which is happening uh, right now with the, the awful and terrible war. Um, we cannot be sure that uh, we can get energy from, from Russia and actually we have an interest to become energy independent uh, because we don't want to be dependent on um, Russia anymore. Uh, and I think that energy efficiency is the answer to uh, all three crises, the climate crisis, the energy price crisis and the Russia crisis. Because when we become more energy efficient, uh, we actually need to import less gas from, from Russia. Every time we increase energy efficiency by 1%, we reduce gas imports by 2.6%. That is good for the climate. The greenest energy is the energy we don't use, uh, but it's also good for our energy um, um, independency, uh, and it's good for uh, people who have to spend less money on the energy bills. Um, we, of course, in order to do this, in order to live up to the targets uh, of um, increasing energy efficiency and reno renovating uh, our buildings, we of course need the, the skilled workers, the, the labor force to do so. And I think we have a big problem in, in Europe today, which is that 
we don't have sufficient skilled workers that can help us to renovate our buildings. So I propose that the member states, the member states of the European Union, they should um, every second year make an assessment of uh, their workforce to see is it up to date, do, uh, do we have the skilled workers we need and if we don't then we need to educate them and we need to educate them right away so we need to get more people into um, um, educations where they actually are trained to help us becoming more energy efficient. I think that is vital for our future. So there are many uh, tasks ahead but I hope uh, and I think also that we can agree on in this house in the European Parliament and uh, also with the European ministers to make a new legislation with binding requirements for energy efficiency, for uh, putting energy efficiency first when we invest in new energy projects and also for uh, renovating our buildings to make sure that uh, we renovate our public buildings but also of course that we give incentives uh, to renovate uh, the private buildings. And the energy efficiency is one part of the block, a very important part of it um, in order to achieve these targets. Uh, but we of course also have other legislations that contribute to, to, uh, to this effort. And one of the very important ones is the uh, energy performance of buildings directive. In the EU, we have a lot of fancy approvations and uh, this one is called the EPB D. Uh, nobody knows what it means except the ones who, who deal with it, but it's the Energy Performance of Buildings Directive. And that directive sets some requirements for um, how energy efficient all buildings in our society should be. And it provides a time plan for when we should uh, actually phase out the least energy efficient buildings. That means renovating them so that they get a bit better energy class. So the Energy Efficiency Directive and the Energy Performance of Buildings Directive, those are the two directives that are mostly relevant when we talk about how to renovate our buildings. We are negotiating both directives right now and we need to get them right, uh, both for the climate, for the energy bills and for our um, energy independence, uh, especially of, of Russian oil and, and gas. Thank you very much and uh, good luck with the HART project.